Good morning. I'm your friend Scotty Ray. Welcome to Saturday morning. It is July 4th. Isn't it great? Wow, this is uh, good to be here. Now, it will be a little different from most everybody. It is not your traditional 4th of July. Social distancing going on, so most of uh, the fireworks celebrations have been canceled. Of course, uh, Mount Rushmore's was last night. Maybe you had a chance to see the president speak. Some fireworks, that was a big deal. Had a few protesters there trying to block the road, and they were taken out early on in the game. But overall, it is a great weekend. We'll talk a little bit more about the 4th of July in, in just a moment there. But uh, a great day. As we turn to our forecast this morning, brought to you by EMEPA, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. First, we'll uh, go over and take a look at what the National Weather Service is telling us when it comes to rain. And it looks like there's going to be a lot between now and Wednesday. So mark that on your calendar that, well, it's going to be wet outside. That means that grass is going to grow quite a bit between now and then, isn't it? It always seems to work that way. As we go to radar this morning, we're not showing any rain in our immediate area in here, but we do have some showers off the out in the Gulf, uh, outside of Gulfport and out uh, past Pensacola as well. And you'll see a little bit there out from Mount Lafayette in the Gulf. We're showing some showers up in Fort Smith, Arkansas, and close to Chattanooga there, right outside of Georgia there at the Tennessee line. What does the forecast call for us today as you plan to do your stuff today? Well, it looks as though it's going to be a 70% chance of showers, and this could happen anytime after 10 o'clock this morning. We'll have some sunshine, high reach 91, but those shower chances linger out there. And as always, should it turn rough or a thunderstorm, I'll be in to tell you about it. Tonight, a 50% chance of showers. We'll increase this, as we saw on the map just a moment ago, to a 90% chance of showers tomorrow. Heat index right at 189 for the high 50% Sunday night, Monday, more rain, 90% chance as we look to Tuesday, 80% chance, and that's going to linger on through Wednesday, given those rainfall chances of a whole lot more than we normally have. So it's a wet week uh, in Vile Force over the next few days. Keep that in mind as you plan your activities. Um, so it, it'll be wet, it'll be squishy, and well, well, we all know we get stuck in the yard when those things kind of happen, don't we? So that's, uh, that's where that lies this morning. As we turn to uh, just what all is going on today, of course, uh, today is the 4th of July. And, uh, you know, as a lot of folks don't crack open those history books anymore. Things have changed so much from when I was a, a young kid in high school. But today is America's 244th birthday, the greatest nation on earth. That is for real, 100%. Look around, do some study. Uh, we went to uh, we started our independence fight on April the nineteenth, seventeen seventy five. It would be September the third of seventeen eighty three before that would end. Eight years later, a very long struggle to get where we are this day. General George Washington led us through that, and at many times it didn't look as though he would make it. Uh, but it has turned out to be the greatest nation on earth. There's a lot of people that disagree with us that uh, try to take her down. But uh, America will stand. Those will fight for uh, what is right, American justice. So as, as we turn to the activities, as I said, of what goes on the 4th of July, one of the, the greatest things that you get to do is spend time with family and friends and do a little grilling. So what is the favorite thing to grill these days? On the grill, it turns out steak is going to be the number one thing that folks want to cook today, followed by hamburger. See, I would have thought it would have been a little bit uh, different than this. Chicken comes in next. Ribs, I really thought, would have been second. Down further on the list is hot dogs and pork chops. Turns out pork chops are the least like thing to cook on the grill. That's a, that's a little bit different. I, I would not have known that. Chicken ranks up there high, though. A lot of folks like that. Uh, it's good on a grill, isn't it? And speaking of, when it comes to all that, when you're looking for something uh, good to cook, uh, well, you need to see our friend Joe out of the Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville. Of course, Joe has all of this. He's got some great specials. If you're planning on grilling today and you hadn't gotten everything, drop in and see Joe. You can pick up those potatoes. You'll need to put that on the grill as well, up in some tinfoil, along with ketchup. Got to have that for all those French fries and things that you'll be doing today. You can get that 38-ounce uh, bottle for two ninety nine dollars here at the Piggly Wiggly. And when it comes to that grill... You can get the two-pack Boston Bucks for 99 cents a pound. Did I say Bucks? I meant butt. Two-pack Boston butt. They're 99 cents a pound. Also, you can pick up on those pork spare ribs, $1.99 a pound, along with for our leg quarters. You can get those for $4.99 a pound. They generally come in a 10-pound bag, so that's all there at Piggly Wiggly. Of course, if you're needing some tomatoes to go on those hamburgers, they got those as well, $1.59 a pound, along with grapes and things to chew on. Yeah, it's all there. If you need drinks, they got those too at the Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville. Drop in and see Joe. You go to the four-way stop. You can't miss them. 
they'll be on the left. Uh, you take a left at the four-way and then the pigs on the right-hand side of the road. Drop in and see them today. During these challenging times, there are some things that you can count on every day. One of them is that Rick Justice Automotive will work hard to help you find just the right vehicle. Rick Justice has late model, low mileage vehicles and 72 months, 72,000 mile warranties available on all vehicles. Come see us today and we'll show you how we've been helping your friends and relatives find the car, truck or SUV that was right for them. We will earn your business. And of course, as we start looking at all these rain mentions of what's coming up, let's go back and take a look at our extended seven-day forecast of what we've got in store for us. As we mentioned, all the way through Wednesday, there was rain mentioned 80%. But yeah, it goes all the way through Friday of next week with rain chances and thunderstorms. So it's going to be a lot of water hit the ground in between now and then. So plan ahead. It's going to be a wet one. And uh, as I've said many times, should the weather break out, turn bad, I'll be there to break in and give you street-by-street -street coverage as it nears your home and uh, gets close to you. I'd like to thank our sponsors. Scotty Ray's Weather is brought to you by... Good folks, and, and again, celebrate and remember what the 4th of July is all about. It's our freedom and those who came before us who uh, gave the ultimate sacrifice so you could do what you want to. There's a lot of folks that probably probably have forgotten that, of what it was really all about. So keep that in mind. Say a little prayer for our country. It always needs it. And again, thanks for watching Scotty Ray's Weather. As always, I'll be here if you need me.